Hey, deserving listeners, time to continue our journey watching 90 Day Fiance. Let's get to it. Oh, and Jess, we both looked out for him, and we can see um, red flags. You better try to put a stop to that or something. You can't take a mother away from her son. If it's a bad relationship, I will do everything in my power to sabotage his relationship. Yikes. So instead of allowing her adult son to make his own choices and perhaps make his own mistakes, if you believe he is making a mistake, you believe that it's okay to sabotage their relationship. Yikes. Okay. I talked to Vanessa. She said the cats are doing really good. She sent me a video of Izzy. You want to see? What? What? I said, Vanessa told me the cats are really doing really well, and she sent me a picture of... Vanessa's watching the cats while we're gone. She's just watching the cats. Mm-hmm. You're not talking off, how about... Well, you don't like her. By matching her, then you're It's just... my cat. She's watching my cat for me. So I don't know if this is exactly what's happening right here, but from my memory, because this has been something that's spanned the whole season here, is that... Colt has a friend, according to him, named Vanessa. They dated very briefly, but she doesn't like him, according to Colt, and now they're friends. And uh, Jess was jealous of his relationship with Vanessa and asked Colt to cut off communication with her. Colt agreed verbally, but then behaviorally did not. And Colt said something along the lines of, well... Yeah, it doesn't feel good to lie to Jess, but uh, there's nothing wrong with my relationship with Vanessa, and I'm just, I'm lying to Jess for her own good. And we've seen that Colt does this a lot. He is lying to his mom, saying that he didn't ask the father for permission to marry the daughter, that uh, there's other lies that he will tell his mom too. Instead of facing things head on, you postpone whatever problem that you're trying to avoid into the future and you magnify it. So instead of Colt, now I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with Colt and Vanessa's relationship. There's no way for me to know that. But generally speaking, if you're in a situation where your partner is jealous and is asking you to cut off communication with someone and you want to stay in contact with that person because you know that there's nothing wrong with it. And you're like, well, I'm gonna lie. And then later on, when my partner finds out about it, not only will they still be upset, but now they'll be 10 times more upset because I've been deceiving them for this whole time, which is, I think, what's happening for Jess right now. Now, it's normal in the moment to have anxiety. Be like, oh no, my partner is pressuring me to break off my relationship with my friend. And that, that doesn't make any sense. That person's just my friend. So what do I do? I've tried to negotiate with my partner and she's not listening to me. So I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. Solution, I'm going to deceive my partner for, the, for as long as I possibly can. That's not a solution. That's what I, I'm, I'm always saying. Stop lying. I get the impulse. I get that it solves your problem in the moment. But... We remember kindergarten being taught, don't lie. Now, you are you have anxiety in that moment. You're confused. You don't know what to do. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Okay. But lying is not usually the best course of action. It's immature. It's self-destructive. It's hurtful. It's deceitful. And it's immoral. To knowingly lie to someone, to knowingly do something to someone that you know would hurt them, especially someone close to you, is my definition of an immoral act in the same way it would be to steal from someone or push someone down stairs because you're frustrated with them. It's wrong. It's just wrong. And so we can all be reminded of that. Now, if you have tremendous anxiety due to past traumas that make you very anxious in that situation and you have an impulse to lie because when you were young, that's what worked for you. And it was just, you know, when you're four or eight years old and you lie to your parents because you're being abused, you're justified usually. 
because the abuse and the situation is so terrible that it's you're you're resorting to a bad behavior to deal with much much worse behavior, right? You're dealing with a very difficult situation in the best way that you can in the moment. But once you're an adult and you have the power, presumably, to move and to make your own choices, we want to get out of that habit. We want to say, okay, well, what's my impulse to lying right now? Well, I'm having a lot of anxiety. I don't know what to do. My partner is being unreasonable. I don't know what to do. Okay. But just because you don't know the path forward doesn't mean there isn't a path forward that is healthy. It might take going to a therapist and exploring that or thinking outside the box, talking with other people, telling your partner, by the way, you know, right now you're putting me in a really weird situation. You're forcing me to break up with my friend who I know is an innocent friend that I need. I don't have a lot of friends in my life. And you're jealous of that person, which honestly doesn't make any sense to me. And you're forcing me in the situation where I just have to like break up with, I just have to get rid of a friend just because you, you're insecure and, and it's, it's pushing me in the situation where I'm in, I have this impulse to lie to you. I don't want to do that, but I, I want to hold on to this. Is there some way we can work? Is there some way I can reassure you that it's not a threat? Now, with these people, maybe it is a legitimate threat. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, there's no way for me to know, but generally speaking, that's what I'll say. But let's get back to the show. She's not doing it for him. F- you. I don't care. Listen, she's you just, say no talk more. I'm not talking Lisa. to her. She's just, just for, a friend. And for going to your house, going to your house. So, yikes! Of course, Jess is upset. She's hurt and angry that she's been lied to this whole time. Now you've created a situation where you legitimately did something wrong. In the beginning, you're like, I didn't do anything wrong. I just have a friend who happens to be a woman. Okay, you could legitimately say, I didn't do anything wrong. But now you have done something wrong. You've actively deceived your partner. And Colt should, in this moment, apologize for lying. Let's see if he does that. I can have friends. She's my friend. She's his friend. That's all oh, yeah. friends. Just, just, just me friends. crazy. No, just me crazy. When this is a beat. Jess, come on. No, Yes. No, she's she, not. She, she's uh, a good person. She's good person? Ah, oh, you, you boys. So now they're arguing about Vanessa. I, I don't see how that pertains. If Vanessa is a good person or a bad person, the central problem here is that Colt lied to, Van- to Jess this whole time and that Jess is upset about that. That's what they should be talking about in my book, but now they're f- all focusing on Vanessa, <laughs> you know, that the mom is like, no, Vanessa's a good person. Jess is like, no, Vanessa's a bad person. And I'm guessing Colt is just gonna check out and they're gonna fight. If things go according to habit and structure, that's likely what's gonna happen. Let's see. Hey, Deserving Listeners, as you know, I'm constantly recommending that people go to therapy. We all need therapy from time to time. One of the options available that is definitely worth checking out is BetterHelp.com. So if you're looking for a therapist, I would give it a try by going to BetterHelp.com slash Kirk. Make sure you use the slash Kirk because you get 10% off your first month and it helps us out. I get a lot of emails from you saying that you're looking for a therapist. As you watch these videos, I know many of you have been motivated to find your own therapist but I know it can be really hard to find a good one to work with. Like I said, one of the options available to try is betterhelp.com slash Kirk. And you should know that this service is available to clients worldwide, which is amazing. I've been told that you can start communicating with your therapist in under 24 hours. You can message with your counselor anytime. Plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. And I've been told that it's often less expensive than in-person therapy. So go to betterhelp.com slash Kirk to get 10% off your first month of therapy today. A good person. Uh huh. Good friend. Good friend. Good friend and sex with Colt. Uh huh. She doesn't want sex with Colt. Did you know Jess had an issue with Vanessa? She's a good person. She's not. Yikes. So. This is her trying to... Now, I I always wonder how they're editing this to tell a story. But if we're to receive the story that the show is trying to tell us is that she knew 
that by saying, hey, Vanessa, sent this video, she knew that that would trigger Jess and would cause a problem, and she is trying to sabotage the relationship. Jeez, just awful. Now, there's nothing wrong, as I've been saying, with the mom being concerned about Colt. There's nothing wrong with her wanting to have a relationship with her son. There's nothing wrong with her going, I don't know if this is a good idea. There's nothing wrong with her telling Colt, I don't know if this is a good idea. There is something immoral about screwing with other people's lives through deceit and trickery and Machiavellianism. That is, um, in my book, definitely crossing the line. Wow. Jeez. How cold owls? I talk cold, no talk more honey. What does he say about it? It's good, no more. And she's staying her home before the care cats. Cold lie all the time. So, no just friend. I think she's friends with benefits. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I love you. So, for the sake of argument, let's say that it is an innocent friendship that he has with Vanessa. Who knows? But let's say that it, that it is innocent. Well, now you've created a situation where Jess is like, wow, you, you lied to me about that. What else have you lied to me about? And I always say this, is that it might feel like an innocent lie to you. You might be like, well, I'm just lying about this one little thing. It's not that big of a deal. But other people don't know that. Other people, when they catch you on the lie, it's rational for them to go, well, what's the chance that that's the only lie that this person has told me, the, the random one that I caught them on? What's the chance that they, they've lied to me about 50 things and I've only managed to catch one of the lies? This is the central feature of a healthy relationship is trust, is the idea that you can trust your partner that when they say something to you, it's truthful. And when you compromise that trust, and some of you have done that, some of you have been the victim of that, then everything gets thrown off. Do they really love me? Do they really care about me? Are they cheating on me? So it's totally normal for Jess in the situation to say, wow, so you lied to me about cutting Vanessa out of your life, which we could argue was an unreasonable request, who knows. But it, he said, yeah, I did cut her out of my life and has been deceiving her this whole time. It's rational for Jess to go, well, why are, you, why are you deceiving me about that? The only reason why you would lie to me about Vanessa is if you are in a relationship with her. And that would be a rational thing to think. So now you're completely screwed as a partner, you're just like, wow, like I really screwed myself over. So you apologize and you set out on a campaign to win back trust by being trustworthy, by telling the truth and not telling any lies. So let's see what he does here. I don't want the He's a friend, bitch friend. We're friends, she's friends with him, that's all there is to it, friends. If you can't handle that, then you're in trouble. But if you're that jealous of him and not trusting him, you have a real problem, young lady. I think we have trust issues, Jazz. I don't know why. If you can't trust him, you don't have a relationship. Wow. I mean, told in a certain way, this is some serious Machiavellian stuff right here. I mean, uh, you could tell this story and include this final scene right here and see a very Machiavellian meaning, a, a lot of planning and trickery going on to make this happen right here. There's another version of the story where it's not that bad, but still bad. <laughs> so, now, what am I looking for? Well, what I'm looking for here is for Colt to say, Mom, Mama, Mom, Mom, I get it. But Jess, let's go outside. Let's just you and me and talk. I, I, I have a lot of apologizing to do. I lied to you about Vanessa. Here's why I lied to you. It was wrong of me to do, but you have to trust me. Vanessa and I are just friends. Yes, we did have sex once, but we have no relationship. It's, it's, she's just a friend. That's it. And I'm in love with you. I want to be, be with you. In fact, I was thinking about even asking you to marry me. And I, I, we've been talking about having kids together. So, but I am sorry for lying to you. I should not have done that. 
and you have every reason to be upset and you have every reason to hate Vanessa too. You know, that's the beginning. And then Jess will have her emotions and she'll say things. Instead of what's happening right here, as what we can see is they're essentially ganging up on Jess for being upset that she was being lied to. I mean, how? Yeesh. Relationship, you're going to have a real problem that's happened before. You either love me and you trust me, and you feel secure in our relationship. If you don't love him and trust him, you don't have a relationship. Or you you're don't. still a child and you need to grow up. Yikes. Wow. Yikes. How many yikes is that? That's that's like a that's like a two and a half yikes situation. It's a two and a half on the yikes scale. All right. Well, that does it for that episode. And everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.